move right to the vote on that right away. That was your suggestion. I, I don't no, know. I had a su just to clarify. Yeah. You, you, I have a superseding motion to move to the to, to the to the motion before you, which is which is uh, my right under I'm the standard. I'm sorry, but you don't have the floor to do that right oh, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I have the floor. No, I've already you moved it. Moving, I don't have to move it no, now. Sorry, already sorry, moved. sorry, sorry. Um, I have to follow the rules. You just don't. And, uh, <laughs> You don't like the motions. No, no, no. You just uh, don't like the motion. Okay. Taken forward. It's a motion to proceed to another order of business. If you want to reference the rule, it's on page four, six, nine. Uh, if we could uh, proceed, proceed now, and I, I did say that entirely while I had the floor. So if we can proceed to the consideration of my motion, uh, that would be entirely in order. To not be able to excuse the witness uh, on the basis that we are going to do some other business before we can do this last two-second thing. So, as long as the members understand. So, there is no debate on this. Mr. M Mr. Polly, no, I was exp no, there's there, there's a debate on the Reed motion, but not a debate on the, mo the motion to move to another order of business. It's not debatable, and I must put the vote now. Now that I've explained to members the consequences of voting one way or another, and I hope members will think very carefully about how they vote here. That's just to give members an, an idea of where we're going. Cool. I don't Since support. My, I don't support what you're doing, Mr. I'm Chairman. I'm going to. I'm going you to. You have make no a right rule. to just come in here and say this is what's going to be the case. Surely, surely, to goodness, members that, of this committee have a say as, yes. as as to who the witnesses are going to be. Well, you just can't jump in here and say this is it, and I'm going to rule. There's most improper. Yes. Uh, thank you, Mr. Mr. Tilson. Since the relevance matter. The relevance is the issue, and the chair is going to have to point out to members uh, that there are persons on this list that have been proposed uh, that uh, do not meet the relevance test for our, the matter before the committee. Uh, the chair is making a decision. Mr. I, chair, I, I, point I, of I want, order, please. So I want to list point of order for Mr. the chair. members. Point, point of order. I wonder if I could possibly offer to the chair a document that you could read, Mr. Chair. I could read it out for you. It's dated June 19th. It is a committee meeting which you presided over and you confirmed very uh, astutely to me that the chair would not be involved in the selection process of witnesses. I'd be happy to give yeah. this to you, Mr. Chair. Sure. Um, th thank you. I'm not selecting witnesses, but I am making a determination on relevance uh, for the... For the, uh, for the uh, and I'm going to, I'm going to suggest to committee, to committee members, I, I've reviewed this, I think there is a uh, uh, clear place. So, because of its uh, uh, relation to prior elections uh, and in the, uh, uh, with regard to uh, Bloc Quebecois uh, candidates, these are not conservative uh, candidates that were, with regard to with regard to uh, on the bottom of page four, Lucy Ledesur, uh the NDP bookkeeper again, NDP candidates, Libby Davies, uh, NDP candidate uh, again. A kid, uh, this is not involved in the media buy, which is the issue. Uh, and Chair, uh, Mr. Point of Christopherson, order. Point of order. Uh, which is the, uh, I will deal with that in a sec. Point of Mr. order. Mr. Christopherson, also Mr. Limoges. Point of order, Chair. Mr. Point of Jean order. Paul, I will deal with you Point in a sec. Point of order. I'm in the middle of something, thank you. Jean-Paul Marchand, uh, because that's to do with the 2000 election. Mr. Ms. Lorraine Godin, uh, former official agent for the Bloc back in the 2000 election. Uh, Ms. Janine Boulot, official agent for the Bloc Quebecois, again, uh, party and, and date. And uh, Mr. Mark LeMay, the 2004 candidate for Abitibi Temiskaming, uh, again, outside of the scope of the work of the committee. Uh, it is um, my decision that these, these members uh, or these proposed witnesses are beyond the scope and are not uh, 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 admissible uh, for, uh, for our witness list. The, uh, your ruling. Challenge the chair? Yes. Okay. It's not debatable and there, it, not, and there is, uh, a, the, the question must now be put, I think we'll have a recorded division. Shall the decision of the chair be sustained? Would you please call the roll?
Mr. Polyev. I, I, I challenge the chair. Uh, no, no, I don't sustain him. No. Mr. Hebert. He's not here. Mr. Tilson. No. Mr. Reed. Sir, are we voting to uh, in sustain, I mean, the sustain the chair? Sustain the chair? Or yes. So we're voting. It's a trick. It's a, it's a trick, trick, Charlie. You've done it again. By challenging the chair, it kills debate. Call the next uh, member. You have to go to the vote. So it's this is over. Year. That's what the Liberals do. It's a trick. So essentially, we. Yep, it's done. All right. It's done. I got, done. I, I, the answer is Call the roll, please. So I'm voting it. Carry on. The chair. Don't that makes a no word. Call the next three, please. Mr. Goodyear? Yeah, it's like the tax, uh, carbon tax. Mr. Hubbard? Ms. Jennings? Yes. Oui. Ms. Lavallee? Oui. The decision of the chair has been sustained. Now, we Top of the witness list, Mr. John Courtney, Mr. Andrew Hurd, Ms. Heather MacGyver. I note that none of them were involved in the 2006 election. They are being allowed to stay on the list. Why? Because they are prepared, or at least going to be invited, to offer commentary about that, that election and the electoral financing during that election of one party, even if they weren't part of that election. Logically, if they are being permitted to stay on the list, then so should a whole group of other candidates, a, a whole group of other individuals who might off, also offer testimony about the 2006 electoral financing practices of the Conservative Party. So even the pretext, which by itself is unjustifiable, for excluding all of the Conservative called witnesses, even if it were true, it has not been evenly applied because we are allowing people to, to, to continue to stay on the list who, who had nothing to do with the 2000 election and had nothing to do with the Conservative Party practices during that election. I find it interesting that Mr. Martin wants to have Robin Sears removed. Uh, Robin Sears has not been involved in, is, is not being called to uh, comment on uh, past electoral practices. He was being called to comment on the practices of the Conservative Party from the last election, which, of which he has been a commentator. So the only reason that Mr. Martin and the opposition want him removed is because he might say something that they don't agree with. And that is basically the only criterion, criteria that is being applied to the admissibility of witnesses here. If the opposition disagrees with the sentiments or is afraid of the information that, that a prospective witness might divulge, then that witness is precluded from attending the committee. That is the extent of what we've heard so far. Um, and, uh, you know, I, I, I can't possibly imagine how that's justifiable. Now, let's assume that the opposition were correct, that none of the other parties engaged in the electoral practices that, uh, of which uh, they accuse us uh, in, the, uh, in the last election. If that's the case, then why don't they just let these witnesses appear and prove it? Come before us. It will only take a few minutes. We'll ask our questions, they'll give their answers, and if the, if, if the in and out transfers of which we are accused are not applicable to any other party in any other election, then, then that would become very apparent very, very quickly. Of course, we know at the heart of this that every party has done exactly the same thing, the, conserv uh, the sa same thing of which the Conservative Party stands accused by the opposition. And if we are given a fair chance to, to hear about the practices of the other parties, it will become patently obvious uh, to all of us that that is the case. Uh, so, uh, Mr. Chair, uh, you, you have... Uh, whereas every single one of the Conservative proposals, every single one, has been dismissed, just as, and uh, this just speaks to the, um, the uh, Court of Star Chamber or Kangaroo Court nature of... Uh, of these hearings as they have developed. But the motion is to adjourn and the, it is the decision of the committee. So uh, all, the, uh, all those in favor, all those in favor of the motion uh, to adjourn, all those opposed, carried, we're adjourned.